Hello math fans, welcome to another video. For this one we'll be doing this uh, nice problem. It's a proof by induction and it goes proof by induction that the proposition 2 to power n is less than n factorial uh, for all non-negative integers and n should be greater than or equal to 4. So let's get started of course with all problems of proof by induction we have to begin with the basis step. So Let's get started with the basis step and for the basis step we simply test that the proposition is true uh, by testing it with some uh, value in the range, some known value in the range that we're dealing with and it's always nice to test with smaller values. So uh, we have 2 to the power n is less than n factorial. Let's test uh, for n, uh, maybe n equals to 4, that's the smallest value in this range. So we'll have 2 to the power 4. Uh, less than 4 factorial. Uh, this implies that 2 to the power 4 is uh, 16, 4 factorial is 24, which should be true. So, you know, the proposition is true for uh, n equals to 4. And you can go and test some other few values like 5, 6, and uh, I hope that should be true. So the next step is the uh, induction hypothesis. Just get another color here. So the hypothesis or induction hypothesis where instead of choosing a known value for this one here we'll have to choose an arbitrary value so and we will suppose that the proposition is true for that value so I'll suppose so I'll suppose that n okay that's 2 to power n is less than n factorial uh, for some value of k such that that value of k of course should be in the range in this case that should be from 4 to n because n cannot be smaller than 4. okay so that's a hypothesis we are making an assumption that this is true or a supposition but we have to prove this so that brings us to the last step which is the induction step now so the induction step um, and basically what we'll do for the induction step, we know that 2 to the power n is less than n factorial. Of course, uh, n greater than or equal to 4 and it's a non-negative integer. But we don't know if 2 to the power n plus 1 is also less than n plus 1 factorial. So we don't know about this and, and that's basically what we have to prove. Okay, so le let me just begin with this here what we want to prove it's quite an unusual way of starting this but let let me try that out and see so 2 to the power n plus 1 this this is the same as 2 um to the power so that's 2 times 2 to the power n of course i'm just uh using the laws of indices to kind of expand this and uh, this right here the, the reason i'm doing this is because i actually have 2 to the power n here so I kind of want to bring in uh, this right here. So this should be less than, uh, if you take a look at this, this should be less than 2 times n factorial, okay? Because we know that 2 is less than n factorial. So uh, that's why, sorry, 2 to the power n is less than n factorial, which is this right here. And this 2 uh, doesn't uh, affect this inequality. So yeah, this... This should be perfectly right. Uh, 2 is less than, uh, sorry, 2 times 2 to the power n is less than 2 times n factorial. Now next, we know that um, uh, values of n for this proposition to be true are always, you know, n greater than or equal to 4. Uh, okay, n should be greater than or equal to 4. So this should be less than n plus 1 times n factorial. So as you can see, n plus 1, if I compare that with 2, n plus 1 is always going to be greater than 2 because n is greater than or equal to 4. So the least value this can be is 4 plus 1, which is a 5, which is way greater than 2. So this should be true that um, n plus 1 times n factorial is greater than or bigger than 2 times n factorial. I hope that makes sense. And uh, of course, this is nice because now this is the same as n plus 1 factorial from the properties of factorials. So I can now uh, leave out everything here and just come to this. So I'll write this finally as 
2 to the power n plus 1 is less than n plus 1 uh, factorial, and this should complete the proof. So there we have it. Our proposition that 2 to the power n is always less than n factorial for n greater than or equal to 4 is true. So yeah, I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Tell me in the comments what you would uh, love to see me doing. You can also submit some problems in the Google form that I've put in the description of this video. I'll see you in my other videos. Bye.